G'day, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Great to have your company. Here we go. Let's get into the AFL tipping. I had a bit of a, a bad round. Bad round for round two. And it's four tips only. Uh, started things off with three losses. So, of course, Pies on a losing streak. St Kilda getting the win there on Thursday night. The Cats over the Crows in Adelaide. I got that wrong. And also went for a bit of a uh, upset to being North Melbourne. Oh, they could have done it. They could have done it. But Freo too good. But we did. First tip, correct. We uh, did get the D's over Hawthorne. Uh, pretty uh, unquestionably there. We did also get the Swans over Essendon. And the Bulldogs against the Suns at Mars. Also thought that maybe the Tigers could get up at the G, but it wasn't to be. But the uh, the Giants having a big win there over West Coast. Let's jump to round three. Am I going to go for some crazy tips or am I going to calm down? I don't know. Let's have a look. I haven't even, uh, to be honest, given these much of a thought. So maybe that will be good. Maybe that will be bad. I don't know. We'll find out. Now, I'm... Look. <laughs> Brisbane v Collingwood at the Gabba. Obviously, we had Geelong at Geelong. At Carlton. Carlton defeat Brisbane at the Gabba. It rarely happens. It did. Can history repeat with Brisbane losing at the Gabba? I think it's unlikely, but, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to tip the pies by a hundred. That's an error. Um, look, I gotta have faith. I gotta have hope. I'm gonna go for the pies, but we'll go for one point. A classic, but yeah, let's, mm, I'm tipping with my heart there. Tipping with my heart. Um, then we've got Carlton taking on North. Ooh, six dollars for North. Look, I went for North last week. I feel like Carlton's going to be a harder team for the North Kangaroos there. Then we've got Frio Adelaide at Optus. Going to go for the purple. For the purple men there. Um, Acid and St Kilda. Um... St Kilda, St Kilda at Marvel, we'll go St Kilda there. Um, Port Adelaide, Melbourne, that should be a good game. We'll go for Port and Western Bulldogs, Eagles, we're going for the Bulldogs. Going for the Bulldogs. Uh, Richmond, Swans. <sighs> um, let's skip that. We'll go for Geelong over Hawthorne. And then Drew, oh that's Monday as well. So that's the Easter Monday of course. So Easter's coming up. Easter is early this year so I completely forgot about that. So of course the Good Friday games uh, North Melbourne and Carlton and Frio Adelaide. And then we've got the Easter Monday clash uh, Hawks and Geelong. That will be fun. Richmond, Sydney. Let's go Sydney. We'll go Sydney. I feel like I haven't gone for anything particularly crazy. Uh, other than the, the pies. That's kind of crazy, but that's sort of more heart crazy. Um, yeah. A little bit dull tipping, but maybe that's what happens when you have a bit of a... bit of a... a wipeout. But, you know, it's my tipping comp. You know, it's like, I can't win. So I'm sort of self-sacrificing, or at least that's that's what I will uh, argue. <laughs> let's have a look. So let's do round two tipping. A lot of people on seven. Holy dooly, Talia. Talia in first spot, Eagles zone. Seven tips correct with a total margin of 18, just 18. Fantastic, well done Talia uh, for winning round two. Um, and then we have Big Jib and Lachlan Collects in second and third spots. Overall, let's have a look. Overall, ooh, 
it is super, super close. We have Jack D, 2204.74 in first spot on 14, a total margin of just 12. But right behind Jack is Talia, uh, also on 14, and a total margin of only 18. So, so, so close. And Bibjib, also on 14, with a margin of 24. It, it's, it's, it is like a whisker between the top three. And then we have heaps of people on 13 as well. Jack, we've got Peter, PC Demons. We've got Cam. We've got Trudy Forever Proud, Ben, Ben D, Guns N' Roses, and Shannon Team Wiggles making out the top 10, and they're all on 13. It is so, so close. Uh, well, yes, let's tune in next week and see who comes out at top of round three and who is leading the race. Here we go, eBay top 10 time now. We've got the top 10 highest selling Aussie sports cards on eBay Australia for the week of Monday, March the 18th to Sunday, March 24. Here we go in equal 10th spot for 750. We have a son of the West, Chris Grant, absolute legend of the Bulldogs. This is his captain signature out of Select Authentic 2001. And that is out of only 50, number 23. Also selling for 750, we have the Reg Gaznia, St. George Scanlons, the classic 1963. Reg Gaznia, of course, absolute immortal of rugby league. In eighth spot for 760, we have a full set of the VFL Scanlons from 1965. Love that they're all top loaded and in an album with those binder pages that can fit top loaded cards. And just a selection of some of the names from that set. Some uh, huge, huge names. Wonderful uh, have a, a team coach version of that year. Uh, then in equal seventh spot for 850, we have the Zach Merritt captain signature out of Legacy from last year. This is of course the Redemption and that is 59 out of 60. Also selling for 850. We've got some more Scanlons. We've got the full set of the Rugby League Scanlons from 1986, including the North Sydney Bears. Bring back the Bears. And a, a, a selection of other teams there. And in also selling for 850, got a few cards selling for 850. We've got the Dusty Legacy. These are so, so good. They look amazing. I've seen one in person because I pulled one out of a box of Legacy off camera. Just, I'm so, so annoyed about that, but still super, super excited, super pumped to pull that. Um, yeah, so only 35 of these. That was number 27 and selling for 899. In equal fourth place, we've got Another captain signature from Authentic. We have the Ben Graham Geelong captain's signature. And that was numbered 39 of 50. Uh, also selling for $8.99. We've seen this uh, before on the top 10. We've got Gary Ablett, Hawthorne, Ardmona, Big League Series 2 card. Very, very highly sought after card. And it's found its way into another collector's hands there. Then selling for 976, another complete Scanlon's set. This time it's the 1976 VFL set. Um, so this is coming in at second place. And I think that's the only image we've got of those. So first place. Well, it is technically Scanlon's, kind of, but it's Team Coach. It's Team Coach, the 60th anniversary set from last year's Team Coach. 
it was such a huge, huge uh, idea for them to do, especially because Team Coach is sort of primarily aimed at kids. So having a Scanlan's anniversary card series like this, I think definitely got a lot of older collectors uh, interested in Team Coach. Uh, great idea, and I think the kids really loved a bit of history learning, a little bit about football card history. So in first spot for $1,000, we have a full set of the retro. Now the retro were a case hit, so that's 18 case hits there, all in one set. Ooh, very, very nice. We were lucky enough to get the Rory Sloan out of a random pack. Now, let's turn our attention to the top 10 highest selling international cards on eBay Australia for the same time period. And here we go for equal 10th selling for 2,500. We have a lot of three Michael Jordan cards. This has come out of Upper Decks UD3 released in 1997 and as you can see they're sort of the three cards are related we've got card one two and three that all sort of come together and they've all been graded PSA gem mint 10 fabulous and there's a closer look at those and then also selling for 2500 we've got a Luka Doncic rated rookie autograph and out of Donruss Optic 1819, PSA 9 on that. Then in eighth spot for three grand, we've got more Luca, although this time he is sharing the card with LaMelo Ball. This is their Flawless Picks bronze card. And we've got, you know, Flawless, you've got the, the diamonds, well, you know, the gems embedded in the cards there. Um, that is card three of three. It's a PSA nine, and that came out of Flawless 2021. Seventh spot for 3,100. We've got Anthony Edwards. His blank slate out of Court Kings 2020-21. It's been graded a Beckett 9.5. Always really like the blank slate there. In sixth spot for 3,200, more Michael Jordan action. Uh, we've got the uh, the Upper Deck Letterman uh, release from 2014-15. And so these are uh, manufactured patches. And so basically the idea is because his college team was North Carolina, you can spell out uh, North Carolina and we've obviously got the O there. Not sure if that's uh, the, the O from North or the O from Carolina. It's probably numbered at some point, so you can work out. Uh, either way, it is a signed uh, signed Michael Jordan card and it is 12 of 15. Then in fifth spot for 3,500, we've got more Luca. Uh, this time a Timeless Moments signature. Uh, it's looking almost like a gold signature there on the basketball court. Uh, this came out of Panini 1 and 1, and it is numbered 8 of 49. In fourth spot for four grand, we've got the Kobe Bryant inscriptions autograph taken out of Immaculate 2012-13. And in third spot, more Jordan. His rookie card out of Fleer 8687, uh, selling for 5,000. That is a uh, Beckett 6.5, which is a, a good grading, very good grading actually. We've seen some that have uh, been like around three that have uh, sold um, for obviously less money. But yeah, there's, um, yeah, 6.5 is a that's, a, that's a good grade. That's a good grade for a card from the 80s. Then we have equal first place. We finished the list with two cards selling for 8,000 each. We have a Wemby, a blue choice scope rookie card out of this year's Prism 2324. The blue choice scopes look very, very cool. And that is card 26 out of 49. And the other card selling for eight grand. We have an Anthony Edwards 
Gold RPA. Now this is for his state team, uh, his school team, yeah, state school team, Georgia, um, out of uh, Flawless Collegiate 2020. Beautiful patch, on card auto, and number two out of only 10, as well as it being a Gem Mint 10 PSA grading. That is your eBay top 10 for this week. Okie dokie, let's check in with the Coleman medal tally. Jesse Hogan remains in top spot with 12 goals. He added two to his tally against West Coast. Bailey Fritch has uh, bulleted into second spot with a total of nine goals, kicking five against the Hawks. Jake Stringer is uh, one of many players on seven goals. Uh, Jake kicked three against Sydney. And we've also got Ben King uh, kicking two against the Bulldogs. Callum Brown uh, didn't kick any goals against West Coast, but he uh, remains in uh, with uh, seven goals. Aaron Cadman, also from GWS, managed three goals to bring his tally to seven. And Cody Waitman had only kicked one goal so far, but a bag of six against the Gold Coast brings him up to seven goals for the year. We uh, have not picked up any um, Coleman medal predictors yet, so we, uh, we're not following anybody in particular at the moment. Turning our attention to the rising stars, though, of course, we uh, have got that uh, platinum West Coast predictor. So we are riding Harley Reid very, very closely, um, but it is very, very strong contention as well from George Wardlaw uh, picking up uh, this uh, round, the last round, uh, Rising Star nominee, his second nomination. He got one last year as well. Um, so yeah, very, very close between them and also Riley Sanders and Colby McKercher also uh, continuing to impress. Okie dokie, we have our first highlight and Rising Star nominee cards for the first time this year. We, ooh, okay, what's going on here? I think we've got the receipt in there. So we might turn that off camera because I don't want my address going out there. Here we go. Let's see. We've got Harry Mackay on the front there. Absolute incredible match winning goal um, to uh, beat the Lions at the Gabba. Huge victory for the Blues. And on the other side here, we have Maddie Roberts, the first Rising Star nominee of the year. Opening round, round zero. Let's have a little look at Maddie Roberts number first and see how lucky we can be this year. We've got a number 75. Number 75 of 140. Oh, I like what they're doing here. I feel like the uh, the actual number is nice and big, but the of is a bit smaller. I like that. I like that because it means if you get a jumper number or a number one, it's like nice and big and, and super prominent. Well done, Maddie. Fantastic game. It's gonna be a fantastic player. Now, Harry, let's see. Let's have a look. Already fantastic player in his own right. We've got number 192 of 251. So that is uh, our first highlight and NAB Rising Star nominee for the year. We will be opening up these uh, every episode and uh, the NRL Player in Focus I'll be doing in the NRL show.